Our greatest gifts often come disguised as pain, physical pain, emotional pain, major life crises. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Beerman, and I'm really glad you came by today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what's a metaphysical ministry anyway? Well, it's all about the whole philosophy explaining how we create our reality and the fact that we do, in fact, by our observation, by our participation, create and attract our world to us by what we're feeling. Because the power of the heart is far, far more powerful than just your thoughts alone. We begin every week with a happy share. And I have this rather different kind of happy share today. And I'll tell you more about it in a moment. But first, my happy share. My tongue hurts. I mean, it really hurts. And I'm talking about the right side of my tongue. Now, why in the world would I be happy because my tongue hurts? Because that part of my tongue has been paralyzed for a year and a half. I couldn't feel anything going on with it. And when I bit my tongue earlier today, oh, my whole mouth knew there was a sensation. I bit my tongue and I waited for the pain. It didn't happen. And I realized, oh, I must have bitten. Must have bitten. It must have happened on the right side of my tongue because it's been numb. And then later today, a friend came over and she works with me energetically to help regenerate all the nerves that were, well, parts of them were taken out, one of which controls my tongue. Now, here's the part that makes me so happy. While she was working on me, I started feeling all this pain on the right side of my tongue, where I bit it. And that couldn't happen unless the nerve was regenerating. So it doesn't matter that the neurosurgeon told me just a few days ago nerve's not going to heal because I'm not buying into his paradigm and I'm working on seeing myself whole and perfect because that's the bottom line truth and so long as I see myself that way and my friends see myself that way that's how I get to be that way by living in the truth instead of in appearance so that's what I wanted to talk with you about today. Sometimes the greatest crises in our lives turn out to be the greatest gifts. I know when I had the brain injury in 1996, I flipped my whole world inside out, upside down, totally had to reinvent how I exist in the world. Well, I did it. And then after this brain surgery, oh my gosh, even who I was before, that doesn't work now. So here I go again, and I have to reinvent myself all over again. I'm still in the process. I still haven't figured it out. But hey, it's only been a year and a half. And you know what? A year and a half ago, I couldn't speak. I couldn't walk. I couldn't swallow. So when the surgeon said, I can't get better, or, well, I am getting better, and though I hit a plateau today, I broke through that plateau. So the task for me, and I hope you'll work with me on this, I sure do appreciate it. She can't get too much love or prayers or light, is to be the whole and perfect being, spiritual being. I know myself to be just as you are, regardless of how you look or how you feel, or what you think's going on. You're whole, and you're perfect, bottom line. Anything else is just appearances. If you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see the Hold the Space page. What does that mean? It means that there's something that people want in their lives to become their reality. This not there now. And how do they get it? We help them by holding the space, for by seeing them living that as a reality. So for me, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my own healing up there. And maybe for you, it's finding a new home that's more comfortable for you, or a new partnership. Maybe you wanna change the work you do. I don't know what it is, but you do. And 
by telling us down there, I would then hand it up there also. And you come back at least once a week. And you tell your family and friends about it too. And then you read each name and what it is people want you to hold the space for. You don't have to know who the people are. The universe does. So go ahead and let us know what it is you want to make manifest in your world. Now if you haven't done so already, you go on over there, you put in your name and email address, and I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. Because you know, spirituality, it's not related to religion. A very spiritual person can follow no religion at all. And a very religious person might have not an inkling of true spirituality. I really appreciate your clicking like and sharing this information. Please help me get the word out. There's a reason I do this ministry online is for many, many years I couldn't find people who shared my similar spiritual beliefs and pathway. So I thought, well heck, I'm living in Washington, D.C. and I can't find it there. There are going to be people in remote places or even in big cities weren't able to find those with whom they can share their spiritual experiences. So you know what, I really also like going down there and tell us something about where you are on your spiritual path and what it would be helpful for you to know more about. Again, thank you so much for coming by. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and I wish you a wonderful week filled with many blessings.